ride. Happy cow. Hi, I'm Ken Spector with Happy Cow, and I'm here today with Fully Raw Christina at the Raw Living Expo. We're here in Thousand Oaks, California, and Fully Raw Christina over here founded a co-op. It's the largest co-op in the United States or in the world. Is it in the world? You know what? It could be the world, but I can't claim world. I can claim the U.S. The U.S. Though. So the largest co-op in the United States anyway, and uh, it's called the Rawfully Organic Co-op. And uh, so, Christina, can you tell me a little bit about your co-op? How did you get started with that? I would love to, absolutely. Um, the co-op started about seven years ago with me. You know, I adapted a raw food diet and eventually I got to the point where my family was taking it on and I just wanted to be able to feed us affordable, good produce that was quality. So mm -hmm. being able to just source my produce, get people to pitch in, it started with seven people in my living room and it's now grown to over 25,000 people in the Houston area. We feed about 700 to 800 families a week and we support local and all organic all the time. Terrific. What were some of the challenges of starting up your own co-op? Doing a lot of it myself and trying to figure out how to get the food to people in a way where anybody would want to pick up a box of produce. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm not just appealing to vegetarians or vegans or raw foodies, but anybody. Anybody. Like anybody can yes. eat a fruit or a vegetable and have yes. it be nutritious and delicious for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would be some advice if I were in uh, a food desert in this country, what would be your advice if I wanted to start a food co-op in my neighborhood? I would say number one, source your food. Number okay. two, start building your community. And number three, figure out a way to present it to your community. And sourcing your food, what, what does that mean to people find, who don't know? You know, find a distributor, go up to your grocery store, start buying by the case. A co-op means community, therefore you're just sharing food. Literally just go start buying by the cases wherever you can, whether it be the grocery store or distributor or another type of food source, and just start sharing it with everybody. That's a co-op. Okay, cool. So you got this co-op started. Now you're fully raw. How long have you been fully raw? I've been fully raw for eight and a half years. Eight and a half years. Yeah. Have you gotten your blood checked? Do you have proper levels of B12? Because I know I that's do. a big concern of, of raw foodists, or some, have, some raw foodists anyway. I have proper B12 and proper vitamin D. I do, and I get maybe every six months I get it checked. Okay, do you supplement at all? I, right now I do not. You no. do not. Okay, so that's something I, I did talk to a raw foodist earlier. He's been a raw foodist for 10 years, and his doctor did tell him that he might want to supplement vitamin B12. I can't mention who it is. He's going to make an no. announcement in his video. No so worries. that's something that people might want to check out every, what, five years or so. I actually got mine checked about two months ago, and I'm like in a very, very normal range, so I'm good. Okay, very cool. Typical. And then, and what is just a, a quick tip as far as, um, I was a raw foodist for 10 years, and then I kind of went back to, I was vegan much longer than that, but I was a raw foodist for 10 years, and I found that I was eating a lot of cashews and a lot of almonds blended up, and right. I, I felt really like I was eating too many nuts. What are some tips for a person who has a really uh, crazy appetite like myself? I have such an appetite, and I, I, I found I was grazing all day, every day. What are some tips whereby a person can get a high level of nutrition, a high level of calories, and not eat so many nuts? You know, I, I follow a high fruit, high vegetable diet, and I don't eat very many nuts or seeds. People say I'm a low-fat raw vegan, which I am. The majority of my calories come from fruit. Mm -hmm. They come from fruit, and that's where m most of your vitamins come from. Greens mm -hmm. contain most of our minerals. So mm -hmm. for me, if they want to check out my website, fullyraw.com, I actually have eating plans that are on there for free, and I have diet plans. I have everything that I eat in a day there, and I even have videos of this. But basically what I do is I eat fruit all throughout the day, just enough to get around 1,600 calories worth. And then I'll maybe have like two or three heads of leafy greens, and I'll make a salad at night. I don't eat nuts or seeds every day. Yeah by any means so I maybe a small handful every few days or even once once a week is, is good for me you actually run how many miles a day on average I run like eight miles a day eight on miles average. a day so your caloric <laughs> intake is going to be quite a bit more than right. a lot of people right but you know okay. even then eating that much fruit is okay because it makes you want to get up and have energy it gives right. you energy right you know and that's the most important part here is feeling your best yeah. and doing that so I think that's great a little tip that you gave in a recent video of yours, which I was sort of interested in, is you don't like to use um, metal cutlery or metal. You don't really I like don't. to use metal at all. I, I hate the way that it clinks my teeth. I prefer wood. Yeah. By yeah. far. So, so what would you recommend on that? Uh, like bamboo forks and bamboo spoons and bamboo knives? Or, or what kind of wood? I use bamboo. Um, 
I use these to-go wear ones that are on my website, but basically just little pouches and like little wooden forks, wooden spoons, if you can use your hands. Uh, now those are, you can wash those. Those aren't just disposable bamboo forks. You can Absolutely. wash those over and over and over again. And you can bring them with you wherever you go and they come in like a little carry, carry, like a carry pouch. It's awesome. Okay. And as far as knives go, you do use steel knives, correct? I do use a steel knife, yes. Okay. And so, I mean, I had a ceramic one, but it chipped in my food one time and I had to throw away the whole dish because I couldn't find the chipped piece of ceramic knife, so I went back to steel. So after you that. wouldn't recommend ceramic knives to people out there? I don't anymore. They chip very easily. They chip too easily. Oh, okay, okay. Now you also, so you have your videos that you do on a regular basis. Yes. Um, you have a juice company as well that you're working on, I don't know. you? I know. So right now I have three businesses. I have the co-op, which uh -huh. is my nonprofit. It's kind of my passion project. Yeah. I make videos on the side for fun. Yep. Um, and I just started a juice business in Houston where we actually sell our juices at co-op and we're going to be getting them into grocery stores. They're called Fully Raw Juices, cold pressed, cool. organic juices made from the local ingredients of, mm -hmm. you know, juice, raw full organic. And how do you feel about juicing? I've known some people who've said when you juice, you're getting rid of the fiber and the pulp and the juice, the pure energy from the juice is going right into your liver and causing a fatty liver. How do you feel about that? I think that there are benefits to juicing and to blending, to mm. be honest. And if you're really wanting to feel lighter, sometimes you don't feel like you need all that fiber, then by all means juice. Mm. I in no way replace juice with food, mm -hmm. but I do love having a fresh juice in the morning because mm -hmm. I feel like it's hydrating and then I'll usually eat some fruit later on in the day and then eat more fruit later on in the day and then eat more fruit and salad for dinner. So Yeah. I, I travel a lot. I know you travel a lot. How does one remain raw on the road? And, and I guess, do you use Happy Cow as well when you're on the road? I actually have the Happy Cow app on my phone. It's my favorite app to find any vegan or vegetarian restaurant. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's amazing. And if you don't use it, get it. I cannot stress this enough. Most of the time, I just find the nearest grocery store. I type it in. I find the nearest co-op, farmer's market. Happy Cow has it. Mm -hmm. Go find it. And you know what? Houston doesn't have that many raw vegan restaurants, but almost every other place does, and Happy Cow has it there. So. What would you say your favorite raw food restaurant is that you've been to in, on the planet? I don't have one. You don't have one? I don't have one. Someone I once interviewed said, my kitchen. Is that your answer? You know what? <laughs> I, would, I would say it's my, my kitchen, my co-op, yeah. as easy as if it has fruits and vegetables, I'm there. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> so cool. Well, thank you very much, Fully Raw, thank Christine. You, oh I really appreciate it. I've been having so much fun with you guys yeah. here. The Raw Living Expo has been yeah. amazing. And yeah. Happy Cow gave me the best shirt ever, so you're going to see me sporting it. I love nice. them, you nice. guys. Amazing people, real people behind this organization. Give them your support. Give them your love. I just adore them. Happy Cow. Thank you. Bye-bye. The Healthy Eating and Living Guide. Happy Cow.